Greetings. This is General of the Armies, Vincent Diaz Jr. This is a communique for Vladimir Putin. Attention to all world leaders, CC stakeholders, BCC, the um, special inclusive group I'm trying to create. Uh, I've just been slammed. Like every mill on the planet just sent out some, some certain type of chemical and a bunch of fake vehicles. Maybe running multiple engines or something like it. They just spewed the worst sort of gas to the zone. They fired it up when I was preparing to hit my bunk down zone and throw out my, uh, my lay down pad. This is the worst. This is the worst. Every vehicle, the ultimate type of illegal vehicle, is just never allowed on civilian roads even. That's not what this video is about. I've been thinking through some uh, groups. Uh, I've been thinking through my past of um, my, my cohort, my cohort group um, that, that I'm supposed to have to call out the way they have a bunch of special homogenized groups that aren't exactly in lockdown, right? We see here they appear to be sort of their cohort. They sort of locked down into some sort of procreation program as far as the rest of as far as what the rest of lockdown is taking place as. So I have all these terms out there and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and talk through this cohort group stuff. Uh, my mind just got fried hard. Um here's where I was at last. At at Universitas I was in the Taekwondo club, so there's there's those people from that group. As I talk through my history, I think it was really far long ago, and I wonder if everybody's died off. Um, anyway, we had a demonstration team, and I'm getting to like my exact cohort group of who might who might be supposed to go on my list until finally there was a there was a like a socialization club where after where after the uh, Taekwondo club we would go out. Um, into the community and usually go go to a place to eat and have to practice uh, how to be out as a group in the community and and fulfill our duties uh, over our ranks. And those are probably the most fit to survive of, of anyone, as I think through my cohort, through my education and and, and such. Uh, there was a few people in the fencing club. Basically, there was these all these uh, rec sport clubs I was involved in. They're all the cohort. Um, I have uh, like like one or two people from my my business class in intro to introduction to entrepreneurship. I was thinking through the informatics school. I don't know if there was a single female in the informatics school who made the cut in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I was a resident assistant. And I don't think I, there's any females I knew from then. Just trying to sort of go through this cohort, cohort logic. By the time I got my career, there was there was no females anywhere the right way. Um, I um, I, re, I I returned from college after things went really terribly. After uh, graduating in the year two thousand, I went straight to college. I, I needed to join the military over being military, but needing to go through through the some military basic training again they screwed me up on really bad so I got a scholarship to Indiana University in Bloomington and, and went to school there and with it being my my main and primary choice I needed to go to the school of informatics which I basically knew but I was being pushed to make uh, a, a different uh, uh, more more um, currency based choice and went to the school of school of computer science which I, I left because things went wrong in calculus and Japanese and, and stuff. I didn't get through quite to Japanese, but calculus went wrong and the, the computer science programming classes went wrong. Yeah, there was a cohort, cohort in high school that, that might still be one I was supposed to choose, but I didn't exactly have it right as I was sort of working full time and peer counseling and doing maximum school work uh, of... Um, extracurricular activities and volunteer duties as well as being the basically the complete leader of of the whole sports program while being the the one the only wrestler on the wrestling team at some point and just just running so much stuff so it's basically after i went to college and then came back but there was also my uh my the the year between my senior year in college i um had a cohort of friends 
where I seem to have a, a proper chance at a, um, a human-like life of living a life of love with a loving life of, of, a, of a proper female to live with this way. Uh, um, we, we had, we had, you know, the standard good life of, of a proper group of friends of the cohort of the most talented people in, in the, high, the proper high school program of, of a college prep high school that was still a proper public school of a county school where everybody in the zone got to go. I'm trying not to call out names here. Well, there seemed to still be, there seemed to be proof still there that, uh, I wasn't just like a different species outside of homo the species homo sapien that would shun me forever for not being a homo sapien from their homogenized uh, species ways oh oh this this is a brutal chemical weapons attack of nbc gassing nature oh i'm, I'm mad with how my eyes look uh Um, and I was thinking through, through, I was trying to get through college. That's basically what went down in college. The cohort. Uh, who I was with directly. Uh, who I was with right away. Trying to make that go right. Yeah. Oh, brutal attack. How long until you can just smash this out? I was just thinking about how much stuff I want smashed out of existence. So I need, um, I need you to actually destroy everything uh, we've we've given this that, that this that this species has of industry since the start of industrial revolution, especially mass produce or mass production. In any way, needing to be completely removed from existence because of this revolt of theirs, use, making everything a system of weapons of mass destruction and worse. And um, I like you talking about advanced weapons like your advanced your weapons are so advanced they're far more advanced than than the weapons we have that are supposed to be advanced um and i i wanted to work this into terms of 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 um industry advanced beyond anything known here basically which is sort of some of the stuff we seem to be talking about you reclaiming from here uh and and hit this hit this sequence you know i'm trying to talk about the species surviving at all because things have gone so wrong with the species but I, I know we don't have all the cases covered for me to totally just call for the end of the existence of the species we need to completely remove the existence of all these industrial products that have been these problems that are never supposed to be allowed in our systems and then engage our our more advanced systems uh and, and, and then and while just removing from existence these, these genetic expressions of this species that's just always fighting against technology unless they're just fighting in the worst way with it. Alright. Right. Oh. Um, and now I was working over this cohort. Got to use some standardized terms. And then, like, within this cohort, like I'm talking about people I went to high school with or got out of high school with and then was able to socialize with because we went to high school together. But it wasn't exactly the case. I was able to socialize with them much the way it was outside of school or my standard duties during school. Um, there were some sisters of theirs. Like they, they, they should be um, possibly in my, um, my, my rebuild of society uh, cohort group. Uh, and then there were some daughters uh, of the uh, the couples. Like, they sort of had the good life American dream where they got to um, m marry the girl next door after her, after having her as their high school sweetheart. I'm, I'm not scorned too hard, but I think they had, they had some, some, some proper uh, beautiful female daughters uh, that, that might, might be actually what's supposed to be... Um, my, my linkage there like that's my cohort link as as they were sort of the uh the townies of the of the boone grove system all, all seemingly related to boone I, I did i did some background search i didn't search them all but i i i, I figured it, look, it looked like almost every member of the school was a was a back traceable to uh, the boone the boone family uh, of daniel boone who who seemed to hide out at at, at, at boone grove and they they, they sort of homogenized and the way they shouldn't be allowed to be homogenous this way and any further than, than their offspring. Uh, 
at, at, you know, at, at, the, at the point I, I was excluded, despite being the, um, the alpha male of the supreme ex, uh, su- superiority in all ways, shapes, and form, uh, always to be the only choice of anyone actually choosing um, a, 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 um, a, a fit to survive um, procreation link in their lineage of genetics when instead uh, it was just homogenization and, and boon family inbreeding basically but not exactly I'm trying to control my terms called townies so I'm trying to be mean and not too mean uh, but, but they're the ones I was able to follow for a while until my Facebook started to smite and I had to disconnect from the community to protect it and to protect us to pre- protect me and so I, I know they had their next generation like they, there were some daughters that it seemed like they would um, be fit to move into this program of the uh, way of life I've worked on. Uh, I believe they believed in cures then. I believe they weren't crazies that wanted vaccines and all cures murdered or not cures at all. Uh, it's strange, but I'm thinking about just how far over the hill everyone is because of the way um, I'm, still, I'm still a growing boy, sort of. You know, my teeth are so messed up that by the time I get them fixed, right, my, my skull is going to be four times the size and my body will be four times the size. And I was supposed to grow up at 18 but didn't at all. When I confirmed, I was probably going to have, after the grow up at 18, another grow up. With this grow up, I mean, now it's supposed to be like four times my size from here. But, but I, I, know, I, know, I know trying to live a life of love with like a, a human is never going to be that size. You know, I, just, I just want to, I want to fill Max uniform. I want to be four extra large. A four extra large grow, or you know, the four extra large tall grow, uh, in, in this in this uniform I'm wearing. And I'm not sure if my my feet will get much bigger. I'm in if I'm in 16s. I think I'm in 16s now. I think I saw they go to 18, 19. I'm not sure what size I might end up. I want my hands to still be usable, you know, like my guitar, my keyboard. I want my fit, feet to still fit in footwells. Like I'll, I'll I'll be able to drive cars again, and you know, get to cruise around in Corvettes and such. Still be able to ride motorcycles, like. The latest FZR 1000 uh, fuel injected motorcycle. Um, but it's just that um, basically the people of in, in, of my cohort I went to school with, not the uh, most fit to survive I was in Universal Toss with, are probably just too far over the hill to really um, need to be involved at all. While they they should have some offspring that aren't that far over the hill. I was reminiscing, like, like where they were. I mean, were these, were these, were these five-year-olds and ten-year-olds? Uh, not exactly the last time, but it's been like 15 years almost since I've even see, seen their, um, their, their families on Facebook. I mean, were there five-year-olds and it's been 15 years and they're, they're 20 now? I'm an immortal. I'm a growing man. Things, things are so different in a strange way. I've sort of grown younger. They're way over the hill. You know, if they're calling me 18 sometimes and 20, like, screwing with me, like, I can't get my alcohol, like, I'm 21, and I'm talking about my high school classes, uh, children, um, being at about drinking age, as, as people are screwing with me as I've reversed age, like, I'm uh, barely an adult uh, of drinking age at all. Uh, well, I'm totally different, and everybody needs to respect my abilities and ranks and rights. And I basically don't have this from the species. I'm trying to pull back from one of the whole species destroyed. But it just goes so crazy, like this current attack. And I was talking about just, just removing everything in industry the species has right now. Just totally from existence. Which I know it was somewhat unacceptable, but they've gone so wrong with everything. With the proof they can weaponize anything and everything. They've created such a vicious, violent system of weapons of mass destruction of the ultimate sort of to- torture of all nuclear biological and chemical uh, agent design and such with everything they've had they, they have to have everything they've ever had in all industry removed from existence in a lot of special ways where it's not exactly everything but it is and it also sort of just justifies removing them from existence instead of the stuff so i definitely want my cars that if i'm supposed to have i want to use the roads I, I sort of want my houses without having to rebuild, but I, I know we probably have a bunch of advanced stuff here. It's not exactly this problem. They probably have some, some non-advanced stuff chunked and chinked and linked and crammed to it. 
you know, we, we need this. We need these strikes here. We need this to actually turn into a pandemic land. We need to lock everybody down and quarantine and out of non-quarantine conditions. I have some other terms. Like anybody who chose against the cure probably needs to be smited from existence as do their genetics. I have advanced systems. I'm not so sure what I need to do exactly, but I have I have advanced systems where we can go beyond uh, everything I'm talking about, just ceasing from existence, and still achieve everything we need. And I'm just sort of in the torture and and, and, and losing it a little. So I need relief from this torture. There's no humanity left shown here. I understand like this this is um, homogenous, segregational while inclusive and including I, um, units of life, may still be out there. And it may not be the case here, like this is a special city-state case where we sort of have an umbrella corp takeover and, and their, genetic, their genetic monsters spewed everywhere. All this technology madness is the city-state is the place to try to take when like every military on the planet about to die off and Pandemic 2 wants to move and start trying to take over the planet at all. This, this is basically the place they got to come and take. Oh. Uh. There's basically no proof there's any li- anyone left living here. As far as trying to trying to interact with people alive here, none of them are alive by any means I can know. But there's also this huge issue. None of them seem to even speak English, right? So I was sort of reminiscing, being pushed around about way back when. It's almost 15 years ago or something when I was still able to have conversations with humans. And then we sort of push, push back further. Like the last time there was some sort of female loving life who could have a living life of love with I. If it could ever be the situation, I didn't have to free her from her hostage life. Which was, which was and is this huge issue. When I think next time, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm just mad, sort of like a mad king. I want all males. All human males removed from existence so there can never be another human male. You probably catch us a lot from women who've been who've been tortured and hostage taken and all, all the all this all the more standard stuff, codependent and battered and beaten stuff. I had another cohort cohort thought, it's escaping me a little. Had another marauding murderer just pass by. There is absolutely no reason for anybody to be out in the dead of the night like this. Early, early morning dawn. This doesn't happen here. This isn't a mill. This isn't this isn't Lake Michigan with like 15 mills in a two-mile stretch. Like this is the central hub where they all get to screw around with their stuff they got out of the mill. They're moving between mills. This is sort of what we have going on here as best I can explain it when this stuff goes crazy before I just talk about these marauding murderers who just aren't real at all, who just keep spewing and, and just doing this madness. It's just, it's just horrendous. We can't hold on for much longer. We got that good news that the Satan tool will be deployed soon. You have to stop this, sir. You have to stop this before I might just get into this losing condition. I'm going to use my three white stars to totally annihilate the nearest 15 small stars that are the stars known here we can't handle these these conditions and these attacks and you know they, they, these people don't know what natural rights are at all they're not life forms at all we could we, we could easily handle this like if they wanted to have these big battles over and over like these Stalin codes where Stalin might have to start his day off with a battle every day now that we sort of have these police out, un, under control like they don't want to have a battle with us endlessly we, we need the way we just have to remove them from existence the right to freaking treat these these people acting like bugs like bugs and if we should so choose to kill every one of them every time we see them everywhere we can possibly see them and hunt them all forever to kill them all and kill them off we should so have the right like we do with bugs in a lot of special ways because the way they are way worse than bugs and if we could treat them like bugs this way it would almost be too good So I'm, I'm working on these terms. I don't really want anyone involved with my work that's chosen vaccine in any way. We've talked through some knee-jerk conditions as I've prepared for this. 
like these people got all hurt and were, were lost in fear and it was pandemic to an apocalypse and they just went through knee jerk after knee jerk the way i explain it like knee jerk to cramping to like everything jerks elbow jerk elbow jerk jaw jerk neck jerk you know they're just, they're just freaked out and people might be taking them so they think they can uh, continue being being wrong in the way they think they're right to knee jerk but they're really just wrong and too afraid to know it when they just want something done to, to, to take them out of the fear or the pain. And it might be what is being presented to them in the way they don't fully understand what is going on, but there might be some relief in the way it's not an appropriate means to an end. So those people stand a chance. Now I'm wondering about the uh, bank genetics. I'm just wondering about like egg banks and bank genetics. And I was talking about some, uh, some, um, some of our Mendelian genetics standards I, I, as, I, as I give up. And it's like, how, how long are we going to get locked down to the all clear? Am I going to get locked down in the city state to an all clear? Like it might be at least 30 years. I thought my premium prime duty, if we can get this place cleared and I can get to work for my, my maximum need for all life in existence, at least in these human conundrums, I have to respawn the cure the way I was working on the cure, the way we brought down the pandemic because they smited me out of the cure after they just stole everything, after I kept winning by restitution of automatic recompense, every building I was staying at, just everything all around, over and over. And I created the cure, which I've held off from. And I'm sure I can create another cure and bring it back, and create inoculations. <coughs> In the way I might be able to control the vaccines, I just don't want them out there. And, and, and having this term brought to me, like, I'm going to get locked down alone in the city state for 30 years maybe and, and wondering what my duty is and immediately hitting this proper FDA F food and drug administration like work such that in 30 years I should be able to be unlocked from here even not in the all clear to bring the cure to the rest of the world with it being in all the proper FDA forms I'm talking about if I meet the proper appropriate standards such that it has to go through the standards of pharmaceuticals, well, I don't want it to be that. I want it to be more like aspirin, but not exactly that. More of um, an herbal supplement. That's my premium prime duty. I'd love to get back to. Doing all the special research and then um, doing a bunch of special work about figuring out our food from our from our basic units um, that, are, that are mostly wrecked at our market so that we can take every product off our food market and I'll have created every food and drink product anew all of them either all of them with natural flavoring actually meaning hemp uh, hemp infused not exactly a proper term Mo most of them marijuana infused while we actually well we have to get things under control here again and, and again allow all life at least beer and wine well, I'll work up all the beer and wine as best I can and actually make that all infused. And, and then it's not only going to be that standard, it's just that those standards are my carriers for my cure standard. Well, while that's sort of my herbal supplement where, I have, where I'll have to get back to this um, penicillin-like mold growing once I can get appropriate uh, fresh produce again and then have this marijuana supply and hemp supply I've been demanding so that I can get into growing the cure again this might be tough but not too tough and the way I'm this special unit all life needs to exist um, where I, I, I'm carrying the, the special spores and stuff I, I'm carrying I'm carrying the cure on me in me and the way I, I'm sort of I'm sort of a spore print of all the molds I've grown uh, that are actually the special cure molds I've, I've found that I've grown with hemp and fruit it's in a bunch of special processes I haven't fully figured um, that I will be able to re-enter um, these trials and respawn and I've had these conditions where I'll actually have to respawn it from, from actually having to be in the presence of it because I'm carrying it that way and, and, and I'm, I want to rebuild so we can have property, proper, proper universitas society the way I want these monsters who've taken us back in time and just ripped away so much from life, removed from existence, and have everything disabled in existence, they require to even be in existence with. 
especially in terms of industrial offerings and products of industrial nature, especially mass production. Where I'm the special unit, where I've been pushed, where I have to be the most martial expression of any type of unarmed martial combat, needing to always have the ability to kill with one strike, and with every one strike, kill every time, and just all this worst case scenario about being completely unarmed and being the maximum amount of martial ability of one strike kill ability and stuff. I've enjoyed the training, but it's, it's, a, it's a special hell of my own keeping. Well, I also have the super intelligence. I had to apply this where I have to be able to rebuild everything we've had while advancing, even in a state which I'm, I, I'm in a situation with everything smited and smashed down to only what the planet had upon original creation as my means of rebuilding from there. And I'm capable and able. And I want to have a rebuilding of this universitas state, of the universitas um, life I was able to lead. We, we've been discussing here uh, you know, my, my special martial way um, species. We've been discussing, um, it probably was the first universitas of, of the first u universities ever. As I've been talking about, like, Welcome Week and um, the Bursar and the Registrar and the many schools and departments, the School of Kinesiology, the Recreational Sports Clubs, the uh, Big Ten um, a Athletics Systems sort of smited me out but sort of let me in and, and, and did decent. And the way I've sort of absorbed all the knowledge of all the, all, the, all the schools and taken all the units of Universitas life over my many years there. The, uh, the ice cream, socials, the, um, the club call-out days. The, uh, the uh, religious festival. The cultural festival. The food festivals. The welcome weeks. Being a resident assistant, working, living, and breathing resident centers, especially the um, cu perfect customer service, always, every time, want the customer always right, and the basics of being a resident assistant when not being able to assist immediately upon my own resources, always being capable of directing to other resources, and never, ever failing any further than having to contact others in our chain of command with um, assistance failed to be serviced for the customers. Our dining hall systems, our special programming at the dino, dining halls like month-long possibilities and all these special diets and research units. With, with, with this, 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 this total, complete failure and destruction of almost all society is built on. And if there's a choice, like everything we've worked for and designed this for, is supposed to be in a state where we can't even rebuild to this, we should probably just destroy everything we've ever even needed these things for. Because I have it, and you have it, with us having it, and the rest of them just smiting and destroying it like we can't even have it. We need to just take it away from them and destroy everything it was ever for. Besides you and I having these. I'm wondering how long until they're all clear here. We hit these quarantine conditions and our basic terms of the training I've had is everyone's supposed to be locked down until an all clear. And I'm wondering how long until that all clear. Think about the maximums, about how long people might be locked down. Having talked about these knee-jerk conditions, like that might that might free that might free the um, the the penalties for the people who've run down into um, into um, bunker-like quarantine lockdown who had no right. With it having been like the most venerable population was supposed to be the um, the uh, the control for this quarantine system. Like, they will go into proper quarantine as a control of the healthy but most vulnerable. Well, they will also be the last out 
such that it would be the last out after all clear and and, and to um you know, be the special control like we could control them with the quarantine to prove it can even work right so we can have a, a quarantine group who didn't have who didn't get the pandemic diseases who we could hold in a proper quarantine proving it works and have them never get the pandemic diseases and then i could move in with my cure and we could inoculate them and expose them to the cure and have all our zones controlled with the cure like I've been working on. And from there, um, prove they're safe to never get the pandemic diseases while um, working on integrating them in the world uh, of those who've had the disease. And um, at this point, if things went right, like we're getting to the all cure, uh, have at least at, re at least reach immunized inoculation if not being fully cured <laughs>